Okay, really quickly, I want to show you how to freeze either headings or a column so that you can always see them, and also how to wrap your head around sorting data in a spreadsheet. Freezing a header is really useful. I've got this huge set of data here. It's got lots and lots of different sales items. It's actually just fake data. But I want to be able to see the heading on all these columns because as you can see, there's quite a few of them, right? And as I scroll down, I lose my heading. So I don't really know, for example, what is, well, what is the heading of any of those columns. To freeze that top row, and you can freeze more than one row, you get two options. The first, you can actually go up into here under View, Freeze, and you can choose one row, two row, or whatever. So I can, I can freeze that first row, and what that means is, when I scroll down, it stays at the top. That's one way of doing it. The other way is to use this pull down handle right here where you can pull it down and you can freeze this certain number of rows at the top that you want to freeze. So I can just freeze the first row. Similarly, if I wanted to always be able to see the row ID, no matter how far to the right I go, I can freeze that column as well, or maybe the first two columns or, or what have you. And so now as I'm scrolling through all of this heavy data, I can see the most important headings that I want to see. All right, now let's talk about sorting this data. And all right now, these row IDs don't seem to be going in any sort of ascending order. So why don't we sort this data by its row ID? Now, sorting is actually very simple. And the best way to do it is up here through the data tool. You can sort the whole sheet in one shot. You can sort it ascending, so A to Z, or descending, Z to A. And that includes numbers, okay? So it would go 9 down to 0 or 0 up to 1, or 9 rather. And I can just click on that and it'll sort it by column A for me. And it's the whole sheet. But what if I don't want to sort by column A? What kind of options do I have? Maybe I want to sort it by order priority. I want to see the critical orders all clumped together. So I can go to data. And instead of saying sort the sheet by that first column, I want to be able to sort a range. Well, I don't have a range selected. So I'm going to select all of my information. It's actually pretty simple to do. It's this empty box between the A and the one. So I can click on this empty box right here and it highlights my whole sheet and now that is my range. So I can go data, sort range. Now you can sort by the column, but if you didn't know which column letter, thankfully I can still see it in behind here, it's column B, but if I didn't know it was that, I actually have a header row. So my range, that first row is a header row. And so I can turn that on and it picks up those headers for me. And I know I want to sort by order priority and I can sort ascending. It's not really that big of a deal. If I wanted to sort inside that order priority, I can add another column. So maybe under the order priority, uh, maybe I want to clump it by unit price in descending order. And as a matter of fact, after unit price and descending order, uh, maybe I want to sort that by quantity or something along those lines. Shipping costs, let's do shipping costs. It really doesn't matter. So I click sort and it goes ahead and it sorts it all. So I can see all my critical items are here first. Alphabetically, C was first in terms of the types of orders, critical, high, medium, low, all that kind of stuff. And so it sorts it by critical and then inside critical, it has sorted it by unit price. So we can see as we scroll down, the unit price is high because I wanted it descending. And now it's going low, 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 low. And then when we hit the next order priority style, which was high, it does it again. Now it didn't delete anything. It didn't mess anything up. It, it sorts it all correctly every single time. You can undo a sort. So if I realize ah, I didn't want it sorted that way, I can just click undo and it goes back to the way that it was. And you can even sort smaller sections of it. So this will screw up my data. But if for some reason I wanted to sort just this range, I could do that. I could say data, uh, sort range. I could pick a column. I could sort it and it would sort it inside there. But that actually changed the orders for those people. So I'm going to undo that. Okay, so that's how you can freeze a row, freeze a column, and how to sort data. And the best way to learn how sorting works and to try, try, try. Just keep going, try and sort some data for yourselves.